Hi guys, welcome back to the Tommy Starcraft channel. It's your host Tommy with another Starcraft Remastered replaycast from the South Korean ladder. We have once again a very interesting engagement in between the two pro players as we have spawn here at a 12 o'clock position. It is in white best, a very known Protoss player. I believe also a player that is known from his ASL game, so quite a strong opponent here for none other than Flash who is spawning here in the low right as the red Terran. So Flash, as you know, is back from his military service, quite active here on the South Korean ladder. Let's just see exactly what he has prepared here versus Best. In my opinion, Best, of course, in a much better shape here versus Flash. And as you can see from the timer, quite a long replay. So yeah, let's see. And let's also check their build orders very soon, just like we do in the previous replays here onto this channel. Yeah, best opening up pretty standardly with his pilot next to his base. So no intentions for him to go for a fast expansion. Same can be said here for Flash, who is opting to go for his supply depot. Notice how he's placing very, very close to his command center. And I'm pretty sure he's going to follow up very soon with his barracks. Let's see if he's going to perhaps try to block the entrance here. And they're quite an interesting position here for the barracks very next to his expansion so i believe he's also preparing a sim city build order in order to block the entrance here as much as he can versus best so to make it really really hard for best to move here forward perhaps with his zealots or very likely with his dragoons yeah, let's just check best there is his gas there is the gateway we see of course the production tab here in the upper left part just in case i'm missing something and yeah, in comes the move out here for best with his scouting probe. It is a three spawning location map. So anything can, ha can happen here and both players have decided to move out. Right now they will, they will meet in the middle of the map, even attacking each other, flash, not paying attention. So yeah, best already dealing some damage towards this one. SCV as I believe now both should of course know where the position from the opponent is. And a very greedy gameplay here for flash straight into fast expansion. So yeah, quite a quite a nice greedy gameplay by him. No expansion yet for Best. So Best sees this. This could be quite um, strong for him. If in just in case he's going for some early dragoon push, it can be quite quite deadly. Versus the Marines here from Flash. No bunker yet for him. And we already see the upgrade for the dragoon range starting here for Best. So Best could have quite a strong early game here in case he's going with some. Dragoons to rush his opponent as Flash is of course playing very very greedy here. And yeah, let's see how this will work out for Flash. He really needs a bunker very soon. He knows this. And yeah, there is the bunker with more Marines of course. That will be placed very very soon. And we see interesting enough two ropes moving here. Perhaps a miss click by Best. Or perhaps he just wanted to hide a robotics facility bay out in the, into the but perhaps he just wanted to chase the yes indeed he just chased the SCV and he killed it so quite an interesting and very aggressive early gameplay here boy uh, best and at the same time he decides actually to play it safe not investing into another gateway not investing into more dragoons he's getting straight towards a expansion as well versus flash and interesting enough he's also patrolling here the map also checking perhaps if there is any factories or hidden starports Trying to gain, of course, as much map vision as possible. And I believe there could be a ramp. No, it's just checking the other expansion point. So yeah, best with a very, very good early gameplay here. As we're closing towards the five minute mark. Yeah, bunker is up. Let's just check how many bunk bunkers now, how many marines are in it. Just two of them. And in comes the dragoon. Um, the range will finish in time. So the bunker will of course have no range versus this one dragoon the second one is also checking out so very smart gameplay here by best checking out it's very important to have vision just very important to see what exactly your opponent is up to and yeah right now he's just going to pretty much harass uh, flash a little bit forcing him to spend some minerals into repairing this bunker and at the same time it looks like best wants to expand so no defenses here this could be a problem for him in case flash is going for some vulture run by but yeah, best in a very commanding position right now. Moving here forward, dealing uh, damage towards the bunker. At the same time, those dragoons, of course, 
could snipe early vultures, but interesting enough, Flash decides to go for some tanks. So no vultures for him. He's usually known for his vulture aggressive gameplay, but this time tanks with also very early starport. As he might go for a race. We've seen him go race versus snow, so he really wants to snipe the incoming shuttle if there is going to be an incoming shuttle there we have the robotics facility bay and two observers actually here for best so a completely different strategy for him not going for uh, reapers with a shuttle and yeah the tank is out so with that the rush has pretty much shut down here by flash so pretty interesting stuff we see the mines getting upgraded there's the vulture and yeah there's the tank here you know giving good protection towards the base as it's very very hard for those dragoons to walk here forward and flash of course thinking that it could be a dt rush and always having a cannon here into the expansion really really good as there's also one being made here into his uh, main so let's just check best once again he's just adding yet another expansion and he also leaving the observer observatory here in the front just having dragoons and now finally moving out with his observer. Let's see what he sees about Flash. Another factory. So pretty standard stuff. There's the turret here. Needs to be careful. He sees the starboard. So it could be a race. Could also be a medivac. But although actually this is a medivac drop here. So what a surprise by Flash as he's moving forward with his dropship. Very very strong move by him. Even catching me off guard. So I really was sure that it would have been a race. But no. Flash deciding to play it very very aggressively with two vultures and a tank dealing some economic damage and also cancelling so much mining time here from his opponent so quite a strong move here by Flash very surprising move indeed so I was very very sure that it would have been a race in order to give uh, protection against a drop but in the end Flash deciding to play it very very unusual and brought here his dropship to deal some damage towards the economy from best so quite a strong move he could even fly by into the other position as this one is not really defended and of course best is immediately reacting with a cannon here and also some dragoons patrolling the map and this observer perfectly placed here for best as he sees more and more of those factories getting thrown out so quite a strong move here by flash a very surprising move indeed as i believe he's going to try to attack with four vultures now and like I told you, this base right here, not that well defended, but he yeah, now best, of course, reacting immediately with two Dragoons and a cannon. So he knows that Flash is very likely going to try once again to attack. And yeah, Dragoons all over the map, so a very good map awareness here by Best. As more and more mines are getting laid down here for him and the Vultures with speed, of course, really, really strong. But there is an Observer and yeah some probes might get killed here very very soon but in the same time the vultures don't really make a difference here and best with a very very good defense here so we're closing in towards the 10 minute mark no major fights yet of course both players are just focusing on to their macro oriented game and more and more production buildings will be added here we even have a science facility bay in order to have emp shockwave in case there is a Arbiter gameplay here by the opponent, but no, we do only see a shuttle with some gateway units as Flash tries, of course, somehow to punch here forward towards the expansion point with some vultures dealing some damage towards the production, towards the economy here from his opponent. And yeah, in comes the patrolling dragoons for best. It's pretty much just uh, dragoons now, as we finally see a reaver now. Even some Dragoons are being left here, so best with a very smart defensive gameplay here. As Flash just tries to gain more and more map awareness. And yeah, let's see how things will unfold. As like I told you, we are indeed closing towards the 10 minute mark and perhaps we had a pause here. As yeah, it's just pretty much mass Dragoons for best and very soon. I think he's going to add some Zealots. He really, really needs some Zealots if he's going to try to move forward. In the meantime... Flash, of course, playing very, very much just like any other Terran, adding factory after factory. It will be very likely once again mech, so, ter so tanks with vultures and perhaps some goliaths just to snipe the um, observers in the air. And let's see what's going to happen here, what best can do. 
as Flash is taking another expansion here, but at the same time Best also very very smart taking his expansion right here. I believe the other expansions have pretty much been detected by Flash with some scans and of course the Vultures have moved here forward as we finally see the first forge for the upgrades here for him. So yeah, really, really hard for Best to punch here forward just as Dragoons. He's going to try to kill of course as many mines as possible patrolling here. The map perhaps is going to be lucky and snipe a Vulture of two. And in the meantime, Flash just planting more and more mines, trying, of course, to set up some traps here versus Best. But yeah, pretty good map control for um, for Best, as now the first science vessel is also out. Much needed EMP shockwave, of course, very good versus versus uh, every Protoss, as it's still mass gateways here for the Protoss. And we also see a Templar archive there, so... We might see some high Templar Storms. The high Templar Storms in the late game versus the tanks a very smart decision indeed to have. As we see more and more upgrades are getting out. And speed of course also being done here for a best and yeah the entrance pretty much blocked. You have to block the entrance versus the vultures and even one can actually two cannons here in case there's going to be a dropship harassment by flash. So now pretty much the right part from the map is in control for Flash and it's just massive amounts of Vultures here, really really heavily investing into those uh, Vultures, not that many tanks here for Flash, as I believe he's going to try to push out and yeah, best at the same time, it's closing in towards being maxed out so he might also try to push out very soon, let's check the upgrades, one weapons upgrades here for him as we also have one weapons upgrades here for best, so very patient gameplay here for both players. None of them really deciding to attack. Best just pretty much clearing mines. Uh, Flash just patrolling the map with the vultures. Now he might lose a vulture or two. And yeah, let's see how things will unfold. As I believe Flash is going to try to secure another base. And the best at the same time also moving out. Perhaps a little bit of a sloppy gameplay here by Flash. Forgetting about some of his vultures. But of course, in a pro a replay cast every unit is really really important as we actually see i've never seen so many shuttles here for best very very rare sight indeed six shuttles for him are they even loaded with something perhaps high templars it's actually zealots so mass zealots here with uh high templars and uh river so very very rare sight indeed to see at around the 12 minute mark no arbitrary gameplay here for him we have to focus exactly to see what those shuttles will be doing here as it this could be really, really deadly no mines here into the main from flash one shuttle already taking quite some damage but lots and lots of vultures so flash was expecting an attack so so much damage has been taken here by him and we can see all of those scv pretty much imploding here so a great drop indeed to have here for the protoss as he's sniping more and more units and even the reaver is also dealing so so much damage so best with a great lesson here versus uh, flash really punishing his economy in the end, the shuttles are pretty much being left alive, but yeah, the damage has been done. 51 workers now for Flash, some shuttles will be left behind. And yeah, a great, great move indeed by Best, a very aggressive move, showing him that he is around, that he has to be really, really careful. Actually, Flash did expect it with all of those vultures on the ground, but still the damage has been done. And yeah, Flash losing so, so many workers. Yeah, those high Templar storms, very, very strong. Punishing here the economy from Flash, so yeah, let's see how things will unfold as Best is taking more and more control of the map, expanding more and more, and even having those units out just to keep Flash at bay, and yeah, Flash just moving out with his Vultures, lots and lots of Vultures, so he might be successful here to inflict some damage towards the expansion, let's see, yeah, just really, really a great uh, offensive gameplay here by Best and Flash, tries to keep him at bay, but... Yeah, Best is really, really good at clearing those mines. And now this could be very, very strong. But yeah, no passing here forward. As the Dragoons are nicely patrolling here the map and just taking out mine after mine. And even two cannons here ready to engage the Vultures from Flash. So yeah, very, very hard game here actually for Flash. He finally came back 260 supply, but Best is pretty much maxed out. As Flash is now moving out and we once again we will be checking his um, upgrades, really good upgrades, 1 to 2. Let's check the upgrades for best. One armor actually and two weapons. As once again the shuttle are moving forward. Let's see what they have. 
I Templars, Zealots, Great Micro here. Let's see if Flash is prepared for that. Not that many units here into the main. Zealots and High Templar Storms trying to engage all of those SAV. Great, great anticipation here by Best. SSV, SSV is getting nuked here and 52 workers once again here for Flash. So great, great move. This seems to be the new meta, so no arbitral gameplay. Just mass shuttles for him and pretty much all of the High Templars have depleted their storms. But the damage once again has been done. Flash, Flash pretty much suffering here, dropping to 48 workers. So lots and lots of damage is being taken here. And notice that Best did not cast the High Templar's storms towards this. He pretty much anticipated where the, the SCV will run. And it's really, really hard to do that. Of course, you have to pretty much cast the High Templar storm into an empty terrain. And just expect those SCV to run there. So 20 more workers here for Best. Great economy for him. He's looking in really, really great shape versus um, Flash. Of course, this is the difference if you're a pro player. Training very hard for the ASL and the difference for Flash he wasn't that much uh, active. Of course, he came back from the military surface and we finally see now Best once again moving forward with his shuttles, with his zealots, dropping them. Not that many mines here, actually no mines at all. So this could be very, very good for Flash actually, who is adding defensive matrices towards the tanks. Great, great high temple storms. The one dragoon after the other is dropping. So this time a better engagement here for Flash. You can see all of the dragoons pretty much melted here. So much, much better game here for Flash. Much, much better position the high templars. Sorry, the tanks on the high ground. And only now high templars casting some storms. So very, very good engagement here for Flash. It's very, very hard for best to penetrate here forward against so, so many tanks. And yeah, let's see what the next steps into this very interesting game is going to be as we close in indeed towards the 20 minute mark of the game. So best in a very great shape, having 71 workers. What is going to be his next decision making? Perhaps once again shuttles with zealots and notice how Flash is not adding any mines here next to his tanks. He knows of course how deadly this can be. And let's check the main here for best. Lots and lots of gateways. So I believe this is going to pretty much remain his strategy mass amounts of gateways more and more gateways here i believe high templars more high temples perhaps even archons could be added very soon by him as yeah let's see what is going to happen here as flash still patrolling the map having a good position but this could of course be punished with a drop with two zealots and then just pretty much add high temple storms versus all of those tanks here so yeah let's see what's going to happen here as more and more tanks are getting added and pretty much both players are being maxed out here so who is going to be the one attacking first i believe both of them will be pretty much maxed out into upgrades very very soon so yeah one or two three weapons or upgrades and one armor here for best versus the two three for his opponent and yet another storm yet another drop has happened here so pretty much catching me of course once again a great drop by uh, best here is going for some uh, archons so this will be cleared of course but some lots and lots of mining time has been delayed as best need to be more careful on the minimap very very hard to see those shuttles and he still has two high tempers so this could be even more deadly as flash is bringing back his um, scvs of course best waiting for that and very soon he's going to once again i believe try to do a drop here into this location Snapping so so many workers, so Flash might once again drop, and yet there are these massive amounts of uh, high temper storms here, catching Flash once again off guard, catching even me off guard, Flash dropping once again below f um, 50 workers, and once again there is another drop happening here, so very very hard to out micro this best, pretty much punishing here the economy from his opponent, SCV after SCV is falling, and 30 workers only being left here for Flash, so Flash knows now that he has to react, he's moving his R forces forward very very hard hard gameplay here for him he dropped to 28 workers he has now the high ground he has the better position so let's just see if he's going to make it happen here as his tanks a little bit exposed high temper storm so best pretty much throwing everything he has yeah but those tech tanks now in a good position however the high templars ready to punish all of those tanks very very hard here for flash to move forward even though he has tanks the high templars pretty much punishing him here very very good and look at the difference into the economy here Flash pretty much with a desperate move here forward. I believe he's going to be able to snipe perhaps some units. But look at all of those shuttle. Once again, shuttle gameplay here for best. 
very very smart indeed this seems to be the new meta from the players in south korea so no arbiter gameplay we pretty much have massive amounts of shuttles and yeah those drops with the zealots taking out more and more of the units from flash but reinforcements are here luckily on time as we do see once again a shuttle very close by and yeah flash pretty much now knows that he has to make his move he's finally reached the newly established base or one of the newly established bases here but he's taking more and more damage yeah, those shuttles are very very strong for best and yeah let's see once again six shuttles and i believe we might see another drop some zealots have been dropped are there any high temper storms very soon here for best it could be very very deadly a great anticipated high temper storm but this time not that much damage is being taken as flash is there to react at the same time finally best also losing some units but i believe in the end he will be able to clear this out with his um, zealots and with his dragoon so both players pretty much punishing each other but flash is moving forward he has so so many tanks he is going to be able to take this expansion perhaps out and what exactly has happened here <laughs> i pretty much missed this one i don't know what exactly perhaps some tanks were on the high ground so this so much action happening here left and right so so many shuttle once again high temple storms have been added tank after tank is getting taken out and let's see for how long flash can take this and massive amounts of high temples but they pretty much walk here forward into the mines so best needs to be more careful he's losing very important units perhaps the shuttles could have been better to pick them up so all of the shuttles there would have been much much better for transportation for those high temple storms so sadly here best with a great great uh, mistake here pretty much walking those high temples lots and lots of high temples into the um, shuttle in the end he will be able to clear this out but he needs to be more careful I believe the shuttles would of course be a great taxi towards all of those high templars as now he is in control of the middle of the map and the flash just pretty much just throwing a couple of vultures out as he has taken so much economic damage so the vultures will of course land their mines trying to keep best at bay but yeah best in a very good shape indeed here into this game as he has so so many gateway units still around perhaps he just forgot about the uh, rally point here from all of those units he might try to regroup very soon he might try to attack the newly established bases here from flash or he might just try to go straight towards the main and let's see what exactly the decision making is going to be here for him as he's just pretty much now very likely going to regroup his units or perhaps attack onto different sites very very soon two to three upgrades here for him yeah he's just pretty much moving out with two different forces so he might try to attack the newly established base he might try to attack the production buildings here for flash so flash in a very very bad situation right here only mining from this base and this base right here and we see indeed a great regrouping here lots and lots of shuttles still for the protoss this could be the final attack is it going to be a successful one flash into still into this game he has so so many tanks so he could hold but in comes the attack with the shuttles here pretty much loaded with high templars and zealots let's see what's going to happen here the zealots are in the front the tanks are on the high ground so best needs to be careful he could take lots and lots of splash damage here zealots straight into the front just to clear the mines but i believe best is going to try to find a better position here quite a beautiful sight here to be seen with all of those shuttles for best let's see where exactly is he going to attack he's just pretty much throwing everything yes in comes the shuttle straight race four forward it's going to drop all of his units and lots and lots of high templars could cast their storms just pretty much mass amounts of zealots here in the front lots and lots of splash damage versus the army here for flash and i believe with that best might have done it here as the supply from flash has dropped below 70 supply so lots and lots of more damage is being taken just pretty much just vultures being left here for flash so flash pretty much taking a beating out of best so best with a very patient gameplay here and quite a extraordinary gameplay here with shuttles yes indeed i believe the winning move of course was the shuttle gameplay here with the high templars with the zealots and yet like i told you this seems to be the new strategy for the protos in 2024 no more arbitral gameplay very very good towards defending against the push from flash with the tanks and so on so quite a strong move and of course let's not forget those great drops those great high templar drops to deal to pretty much cripple the economy from his opponent so very very great gameplay here by best 
let's check the stats really quick just in case you guys are interested once again i'm going to be clicking left and right so best of course with much more experience with much in a much better shape here than flash very known player from south korea and a very good protos also doing very well into the asl championship so yeah flash finally i believe this is the first loss which i'm casting here from flash and quite a strong gameplay here with best with his mass shuttle six shuttles actually that's all what the proto seems to be needing here into the year 2024 to just massively punish the economy from the opponent and then also just drop those zealots into the tanks and then the high templars did the great damage best with some mistakes he did lose quite quite many high templars there into the mines Flash tried of course his best to add the mines all over the map in order to deal damage but yeah in the end best with a much much better and a much more aggressive gameplay here than his opponent so hope you guys enjoyed this is tommy signing out